also like to support Essex Talent. Uh, Britain's Got Talent, you may know the show, you may have heard of it by now. Well, Jonathan Antoine from Essex, 19-year-old tenor, he burst into the scene back in 2012 and became a worldwide sensation after his remarkable appearance on Britain's Got Talent with his singing partner, Charlotte. His first solo album was released yesterday, and I'm very pleased to say that he's with us in the studio this afternoon. Pleasure to meet you, how um, are you? No, I'm great, it's a pleasure to meet you too. I've got, just got to tell you, we were just chatting there, and you said, you, you never really were bothered about shows like Britain. You never seen yeah. it before. Uh, honestly, I um I I don't really watch a lot of TV, and I hadn't watched BGT uh, before I went on it, and I still haven't watched my own audition either, really? which is very strange. I I guess. Um, why Why haven't you watched it? Well, I haven't watched my own because. Uh, you know, it's in the past, and I can't, I can't change that now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think a few too many people have seen it uh, at this point for me to go back and say no. Can we do that again? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't really watch the show because there's, there's the whole internet out there. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I'm too preoccupied with that. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was Charlotte's idea, like to go on the show. So I just sort of, I went along with it, and then we did kind of shockingly well from it with on, on a show that i'd not actually really watched before so you you went along expecting just to, to please charlotte i suppose was it yeah really? it, was it was it was pretty much just to um have fun yeah. uh, maybe you know do a song in front of uh, some really cool people and then <laughs> we, uh, and so we we did our best trying to do that and then I think it's like 50 odd million people have seen it now. Wow. On YouTube. Oh no. <laughs> 50 odd million. That's incredible, isn't it? That's shocking. Yeah. Uh, but I... that's the way it is now, of course, isn't it? When something yeah. takes off, it really does. Every, anyone can see it. And... and I can remember, like it was yesterday, seeing you on TV for the first time. And when you started singing, that's what grabbed everybody. It was your voice. And I know that you're, uh, you're a very humble guy, and that's fair, fair enough. But of course, in the media, we're being honest. And you have got a terrific voice. Oh, well, thank you. Um, thank you so but obviously, there was, there was the thing, obviously, with, with you and Charlotte. Um, yeah. And you've decided to go solo now. Yes, indeed. Um, is any, any particular reason behind that? Is it just that, that you work better on your own now, would you say? Um, well, it's, it's partly because I feel that now, whereas before I, I had no sort of confidence in myself mm. and in my own abilities, I, I now feel kind of like an operational human being, like I, I function a lot better myself and uh, I'm a lot happier in and of myself and so I can work and do all of these like crazy things. But the real, the reason that we kind of split was just because there wasn't much for us to do anymore. Mm. Uh, we kind of, we did the two albums, the first two, and we looked at what we could do for the third and we kind of we kind of looked at each other and said there's not a lot here for us yeah and so we decided to do our own stuff and there's you know there's a ton of opportunity and stuff to be done of course charlotte released her own album earlier this year and i've just released one yesterday <laughs> fantastic i have it here i just i tweeted earlier on if you haven't seen it yet but it was released yesterday it's jonathan antoine and uh, is it Tenore. Tenore, uh, indeed. Fantastic, I'm glad I got that right. Um, <laughs> this is great. I mean, this is... It's, it's terrific to... Well, one thing is to see you <laughs> doing so well. But also, Thank what you. does it feel like to see your own CD? To see your... You know, there it is, <laughs> well, right in front of you. Funnily enough, uh, yesterday, uh, at my door, because my uh, my mum and sister had ordered them, two copies of my own album <laughs> arrived. And so, uh, it comes in that Amazon... Uh, yeah like letter thing <laughs> and you open it and it's like oh there's my face <laughs> interesting <laughs> it's it's really it's pretty wonderful though it's got to yeah. be said because you know you 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 go through the photo shoot for the album cover and you like liaise about picking fonts and the tracks on the album or, and you just finally see it and you sort of you just want to cry you just see yeah. it and you're like Oh, all of this work, and here it is, finally, physical, real stuff. Yeah. It's mad. It's, mad. it's fantastic. And not yet into your 20s, and already you are a, a solo artist. You're there. You're in the spotlight. How are you coping with the spotlight? Because it, it must be quite tough. You just said to me there, you know, 50 million people yeah. have seen <laughs> your audition <laughs> on on YouTube or whatever it might be. Yeah. Uh, that must be quite difficult to, to, to handle. I mean, is there... 
Is there uh, some sort of support system once once you get flung into the spotlight like this? Well, um, the support system is very it's difficult to sort of quantify because you know you start with um, I started off on Simon Cowell's label yeah. uh, on Psycho and we had the whole team there, but obviously they didn't know much about us except for what we'd just done on the show. Um, but through these like two odd years that it's been since the show, which is a very short time, but it seems like eternity and yet yesterday uh, we've uh, developed this team uh, so we've got our Sony classical and raw global management team that all come together and uh, they're a fantastic support and I'm incredibly incredibly lucky to have my uh, my mum and dad and my sister all like rooting for me my mum and dad are in the other room just um, yeah in the middle studio I there I believe they are <laughs> listening to this I hope yeah. they're listening to this <laughs> <laughs> and of course Sony Classical so I mean you've yes. got a you've got a big label behind you yeah, as well yeah. and I mean these boys know their stuff when it comes yeah. I mean they're, they're probably some of the greatest artists in the world so you know you're in good company don't you? yeah I mean Placido Domingo who I um I just I got to meet the other uh the other day, actually. Really? Was, what was he, he like? Ah, uh, oh, fantastic guy. He yeah. was just relaxed, just easy to to be around. I mean, I didn't get to talk to him a lot because, you know, we, he was performing and so was I. It was at the um, iTunes Festival and it was just, just wow. whew, nuts. And you were at the Roundhouse? Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was, what did that feel like? That's oh, a, man. What a venue. Wow. The the roundhouse is oh, uh, <laughs> number one. I, the roundhouse itself is incredible. It's a gorgeous venue, and to see it sort of flipped because you know you come in through the front entrance usually, and you know you see uh, e everything that people want you to see. Whereas when you come in through like the back entrance, you sort of you know you like you walk through the kitchen to get to the stage, and it's really it's very interesting and strange. And of course, the uh, Placido himself is just. A huge voice, a huge personality, and a wonderful guy. Well, stay with us. Lots more to talk about. I'm going to play a track uh, from the CD in just a second or two. My special guest this afternoon, Jonathan Antoine, is with us. 21 minutes past two.